Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking all about my March favorites. So these are the green, all-natural, cruelty-free products that I have been loving for the month of March, and I just wanted to share them with you guys. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I make green beauty and holistic living, you know, all that stuff type of videos. This month, I have been experimenting with some new green beauty, so I'm going to be talking about all the products that I've been loving in this video, and I'm gonna give you guys a breakdown to why. Some are from the same brand, some are not. We've got some Lily Lolo, some Vapor Beauty, some Juice Beauty. So everything here is good for the environment, good for you, and good for the animals. Yeah, so I'm gonna start off with my favorite products from Lily Lolo. I really like these two products. The first one is the Sculpt and Glow Contour Duo. I received it in a Petty Four box. To be honest with you guys, when I first received it, I didn't like it because I thought that like when I first, first received it, I didn't like it because I thought the contour would be too, too light and subtle and the highlight would be too bright. I got it around the summertime and this is like my spring um, winter shade and I find that this palette works really fine for me at that time. If I'm not too tan yet, so this is kind of like a good in-between shade for me. So this set I've been using for my nose contour. I find that it's really, really subtle and it mimics so like after I've placed the concealer, Marlon. After I've placed like all the concealer and all the products here, I find that this shade is very subtle and adds some dimension back into my face, but it's very, very subtle. I kind of like that. I kind of like that no makeup makeup look, not like a very harsh contour. Um, this is a little bit of a step up, but I'm gonna show you um, Marlon. If you have a fair skin tone, or um, a light skin tone. This is gonna be a really nice contour duo for you if you really want like a heavy, you know, nice sculpted look. If you've got medium dark skin tone, if you've got like a medium deep skin tone like me, like a tanned olive, um, like I'm a, like a medium deep neutral, um, I like this because it's very, very subtle. But um, different people use this palette for different things. I really want them to come out with a darker one because I think that like this is kind of you know, like I really like it and I've been reaching for it this month, but I definitely think they do need to come out with one that's a little bit darker because when I get tan, I still want to be able to use this because it's so simple and I love the packaging and I love how I can use my highlight and my contour. But when I get tan, I worry that I'm not going to be able to use this anymore. But um, we'll see. But Lily Lolo needs to come out with a new one because I think this is the only one they have. They need to come out with like one more. I really hope that they do. Because, let's face it, not everybody is that shade, not everybody can use that contour duo. But, for those of you with tan to dark skin tones, you are in luck because Lily Lolo makes a bronzer. I love combining this bronzer with the Sculpt and Duo set um, for those areas where I want a lot of contour and, you know, looking for something to sculpt my face a little bit better. I've been loving the Honolulu Pressed Bronzer from Lily Lolo. It's a very nice, deep, dark tan. It does mimic the shadows of the face because it's very neutral. It doesn't leave that orangey look. It does add warmth, but in a very natural way because it kind of like mimics the natural shadows of the face. I love Honolulu. This is the darkest one that they carry. If you are a lighter skin tone, they do carry, I think, three other bronzer shades. But if you have a medium, deep, um, complexion or a tan skin tone, you will love Honolulu. The tone is perfect for me. And I really enjoy it, and I really like Lily Lolo's like minimal packaging. Like this is like awesome for me, and I just love that they. I don't know. I just really like Lily Lolo, and I plan to try a lot more from their brand. But I've been experimenting and coming out of my comfort zone this month, so I have. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna move on with the other products I've been loving. I think I mentioned this foundation before, but one of my favorite foundations this month was the Vapor Organic Beauty Atmosphere Soft Focus Foundation. I did not like this foundation when I first, first started using it. I loved it the first time I used it, and then I used it again, and like I had like a love-hate relationship with it, and I think it was because I didn't know the proper way to wear it. Every natural foundation is totally different, um, but this foundation I found it to be very oily when I first tried it, but I liked it because it was luminous and I didn't know how I was going to use it for my skin type. I mean the skin prep, I mean the setting of the foundation, and I finally got it down to a science as to how I like it. Um, this foundation I was wearing in, in one of my last Instagram photos, but it's extremely luminous. It makes you look very youthful, very glowy. If you have oily skin, I have oily skin, but um, 
I, it hasn't been as oily. I think it, it is a result of my skincare routine. I'm going to be talking about that in another video. This foundation is extremely luminous. If you have oily skin, you're probably not going to like this. But I have oily skin and I like it because I like a glowy finish in the areas where I want my skin to kind of seem luminous. So what I do with this foundation is I set it like I bake my face in the areas where I want it to remain matte all day and I leave it around the areas that I want to you know, be a little bit more luminous, like the high points of my cheeks. So I stay away from the bridge of my nose, like I stay away from letting the product settle into my T-zone, because that part is extremely oily and porous. But around the other edges of my face, I kind of let the product make my skin look luminous, and I really, really love this. Um, if you guys want me to talk, because I feel like you guys like when I talk about coverage products and like the base and the face, what would you guys prefer? Would you guys um, like me to do foundation reviews and kind of like talk throughs and telling you guys how foundations hold up like throughout the day? Um, I would love to do that because I find that like in green beauty, like foundations are like the first thing that we would like to switch to because it's the largest, like the hugest part of most people's makeup routine. But a lot of you want to know how they last throughout the day, um, what color should you be wearing. So um, thumbs up this video if you want me to start doing a foundation reviews. And I will start a series on my favorite green beauty foundations and concealers and we can take it from there. And for all of you who may ask in the comments below, the shade I am in in this foundation is S140. So my next two favorite products are from Juice Beauty and it is the... I believe I just talked about this in a Petty Born boxing. It's the Phyto Pigments Cream Shadow Stick in Stone. This is a really nice mauve color. I have a liquid lipstick that matches it, and just like I said in the video, I have been loving it for just that reason. I like to wear this alone. This is a simple wash of color for spring on my lids and pair it with my liquid lipstick that matches, and it's really simple, it's really cool, and I'm out the door in like 10 minutes or less, so I've been loving this for that. It's like a very mauve kind of like purpley tone that looks good on like a lot of different skin tones. My next favorite product from Juice Beauty is a lipstick, and it's in the shade Zuma. Yeah, it's in the shade Zuma, and I got this in a Petty Bore box. They've been collaborating with Juice Beauty, and I love that. I'm all about Juice Beauty. They're an organic makeup brand. They're all natural, organic. They use really high quality ingredients, and they are very easy to find, which I love. Juice Beauty sells in Bloomingdale's, they sell at Ulta. Like, you can find Juice Beauty. That's one of the reasons why I love them. So if you like something, you can actually just get in your car and drive and go get it, and I think that's really cool. So it's one of those brands, if you're getting into green beauty, you want to touch build a product no matter where you are, um, you can go to Bloomingdale's and they are also sold at Ulta. And the shade the lip crayon that I got in my Petty Bore box was Zuma, and it's like a red shade, bright, moisturizing, red. I really love it. It's not op completely opaque. It's slightly sheer. So if you use a little bit, it gives you a really pretty tint. I like to wear it both ways, um, but whenever I want a slight pop of color, I'll use, I'll usually, um, I've been running towards this. And I love using natural lip products because throughout the day, I always say this on my channel, but throughout the day, like you are eating most of your lip products. So I prefer for my lip products to be organic, natural, just as clean as possible so that I'm not ingesting those toxins throughout the day. Moving on now to the next favorites, which are from Modern Minerals. I got these two Modern Mineral products actually in a beauty box. I have the beauty box here to show you guys. It's the Bare Element Beauty Box. This beauty box is really, really good. They send you full-size products, and they are clean, green beauty. It comes with, it came with some bath supplies. It also came with um, skincare products. It's just a really good box to get into if you're new to green beauty and you want to up your collection and you want to try things out and you're not sure what brands to check out. So what I favored out of the box were these two products from Modern Minerals because I'd never tried out Modern Minerals before, and in it came the Champagne Shimmer Eyeshadow, which is so pigmented and glittery and pretty. I love, love, love this. I like using it on my lid. I like using it on my inner corners. I believe I used it in a video recently. I'll link it here. But it's a really, really awesome product. So there's that. And then the next product I've been loving from that is this Modern Minerals Love Blush. 
I like using this when I want a little bit of warmth on my cheeks for no makeup days. It's a very subtle kind of like um, blush colored blush. It mimics like the natural tone of blushing. It's very, very subtle. It's not too pinky and it's not too like bright um it's very I, if you guys notice i don't wear a lot of blush because i don't like the way a lot of blushes look on me i don't like very pink blushes and i also don't like blushes that are like kind of funky colored like purple and orangey based um i tend to like like how i like my lipsticks like i like them to be very neutral um and very um natural looking every now and then i like to get a little crazy and a little bit out there but most of the time i want things that are part of my makeup capsule that I can rock every day. And this is definitely one of those blushes. I like to put it on the apples of my cheeks or like around here. I never really um, apply blush in this area when I've already done a contour and I've already done a highlight. So I use blush on days where I do neither. Um, and I just put it on the apples of my cheeks or on the side. I put a little bit of mascara, a natural like nude lip, and I'm out the door. So this is perfect for that if you are into that kind of thing. <laughs> so I'm gonna move on to my last favorite and this guy really helped me out. I received this in a beauty subscription box a really long time ago and I'm so happy that I did. I, okay, so I recently got gel extensions and you know, I'm totally honest with you guys. Sometimes I'm not all organic and all natural and do everything perfect. Like I wanted to get some nails, so I got some nails, you know? I had them on, I loved them, but I went to go take them off because I was like, this is not me. I can't type, I can't do anything. Like, I feel like the dinosaur from Toy Story, like, I, I need my natural nails back. So I went to take them off, and my nails were, like, paper thin. They had to leave some acrylic on the top of them. Not acrylic. They had to leave a little bit of the gel on there. It wasn't acrylic. It was gel. So UV light. Yeah, my nails are growing out, but I have been using this Perfect Formula Repair Coat. It just, it had just been sitting in my makeup collection with my nail polishes. I just whipped it out because my nails, I needed something on them. And this um, repair coat is really good because it restores and conditions damaged nails. And my nails do feel a lot better. They're starting to grow and feel a lot more strengthened. I've really been trying to moisturize the cuticle, eat healthy, and use this repair coat just to restore like the natural mm, of my nail because it was feeling terrible. Like, you can bend back my thumb, like it's so uncomfortable, like don't get gel extensions. I don't know how people do it. I am not going to do it for a very long time. You know, it's not that good for you. And I mean the after effect, meaning your nails being weak like this, like it's crazy. Like I just, uh, so annoying. So those were all my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and have a great day guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. I love you guys.